It's your boy Mike Pipes, you hear of one ounce, do flips or die trying, one ounce, what? And don't forget it motherfuckers, this is the main event. Before we get into it, hold it down please, before we get into it, give a shout out to my sponos, ozhiphopshop.com, Southside Custom Inc, and of course LMG Studios. Alright, on my right, please give up a lot of love and affection for the bro plan. Uh, shout out to my boy Strike One, September, hit up his album, fucking, uh, what is it? Laugh fucking now, Laugh Now and Die Later. Die later. Yes. So fucking check that out. Because I'm on it. <laughs> and on and my left. Cunt. Sorry. No worries. Sorry. Back to <laughs> anything else? He's in charge. <laughs> shout out to my boy Truly Tuesdays. <laughs> All right. oh. On my left. You know this motherfucker, give it up for Barry Bonza. Yeah. Barry Bonza, Dirty Macademics, Dope Boy Smokers Crew, Top Notch Cunts, let's go. Yep. All right, please hold it down at the back. This is the motherfucking main event. Plans won the toss. They're both wearing the same pair of shoes. So we've had, already had a battle for rights to the same shirt tonight. Now we've got a battle for rights to the same shoes. Anyway. Losers walking home shoeless. <laughs> Shouts to Devastator. <laughs> Pla <laughs> Plans won the uh, coin toss and he chose for Barry Bonser to go first. Let's get it on, hold it down. Alright! I need you guys help for this one. When I say bada boom, I want you guys to say bada bing, alright? Bada boom! Bada bing! That'll do, wait for your cue. <laughs> now I've been wanting to say this to someone. You're so old that you're struggling to stay relevant. I'll get your bitch to suck my dick on the back of True's elephant. <laughs> See, your bitch has got diseases, so I never let her ride a bare back. But that pussy is small and furry, so I call that shit a meerkat. <laughs> See, I won't beat around the bush. I'll just ease it in her fucking hole. I bet that slut don't find it humorous when I'm in up to my funny bone. <laughs> See, that girl be worshipping my dudes. She call my instrument the emperor. But when I docked a long dick her ass, I'm not trying to take her temperature. See, if she wants some nuts on a Sunday, I'll cream on her tits. I call that bitch banana. Cause she gets peeled, then I split! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> and I will knock your bitch up, piss in her face, and call it a golden waterfall. <laughs> nah, but really I'm just happy to be battling the second best rapper out of Warrnambool. <laughs> hey, Dribs. <laughs> and yo, if that bitch that I dissed is non existent, then you probably spend a lot of time alone. But it's cool because we're even because when homie's at home, he's so old, he spits all of his throws for a non-existent microphone. <laughs> now full respect to Real Talk, because Real Talk, they do that thing. But one ounce, forget about it. Bada boom! Bada boom! Oh, right. <laughs> Give it up for that round. First yeah. round of plans. <laughs> this fucking dairy farm and inbred hairy harmless dickhead looks like looks like Rexon had his breast done in Bali fucking kids there. <laughs> that fucking pedo chin hair makes you look like a putrid giant sloth who any chicky rooted fucking putrid or died and died put on suicide watch. Mm. <laughs> fucking <laughs> suicide watch and fuck pipe state of flu fuck all kiwis this is my turf. Fuck you, obese boat people, glorified life turds. Fuck every chubby kiwi stuck and bleeding after Christchurch. Mm. Fuck your pedo beard, them double Ds, and extra fucking wide shirts. <laughs> fuck what NZ does to hip hop, I mean, especially that scribe nerd. And fuck mm. the NZ in Anzac, it's a fact you faggots died first. Mm. After meeting many kiwis, the impression dudes have got. Is you inbred useless sloths just pretend pursuing jobs. Stink our country up and create what the Americans have got because you Kiwis are the border jumping Mexicans of Oz. Mm. <laughs> all, you, all, you Kiwis, all you Kiwis at home, we're fools, so fuck off. 
<laughs> and it's do flips or whatever. <laughs> this dude's a fucking lame bitch saying I'm old, but he's got a fucking grey beard, so fucking hell. You need to act what your age is, and that's about fucking eight six. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. Time going up for that round. Second round on Barry Bonds. Right, giving me shit about being old. I'm pretty sure this bitch has menopause. And judging by those flows you spit, it's not just my shoes that are fresher than yours. No. See, this old cunt's battling career has really got to stop. But I mean, you could always be a geology professor because you're really into rocks. <laughs> See, you on that ivory plans, and I'm not talking about Trilly's elephant tusks. You went from smoking to using to selling the stuff. Pizza face overcooked that I can tell from his crust. Well, I guess methamphetamine's a hell of a drug. <laughs> <laughs> and you can tell he's a fiend. Pull out a puff, he's hella keen. I bet his dead lighter stash looks like a jar full of jelly beans. Mm. C plans is on those A's, B's and C's. Kids, that's how we class these drugs. But fuck the ones he's on. Stick to the coke, E and weed. Those are the classy drugs. <laughs> and this is wet work, bitch. So you can't call it dry snitching. Everybody knows you're high. We can tell from your fried symptoms. <laughs> Thin guy, lips dry. Track marks, beady eyes and twitching, stop itching, your addiction's got you beaten to submission! <laughs> yeah, and if there's one more punch, fuck it. If I do a flip, this bitch will die crying. Yeah. And I'm only doing that because it rhymes exactly with do flips or die trying. <laughs> Time giving up second round on plans. <laughs> See the name Bonza? He's actually an acronym for flesh stench mange because pipes, he dead set sprays the worst B O in NZA. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is fucking one ounce mundane because Barry Building wins cheap. But after this, Alan Bonds cuts will clearly then see the top tier of this league is a pyramid scheme. Get it? Alan Bonds? Pyramid scheme? Yeah, nah, it's a new game with savage plots. Backstab rat and bit of Malfi's dog and a crowd will go off. Fuck that. That's some grilly stage, yo. But I'm starting to see the seed. The seed is keen to see me so. So I turn my defense into offense with the people I know. Deceased when I go and cut your mother's weaselish throat. Send her up to heaven so my dad can be reaming the hoe while she's fucking Jesus is choked and Mandel squeezing her throat. I was just screaming out, no! I feel like Mr. Miyagi, and he's a plastic tree because basically he mocks life and tries to pass it as real, but I can see the fakeness in Bond's eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if this knob's trying to come out the closet or dumb, but he's obviously one because he thought hoses of bud were a suppository drug. Yeah. <laughs> and bro, it's fish and chips, not fush and chops. <laughs> you can't always swap an eyes for use. Which is ironic, because Kiwis stare at bitches and they always swap their eyes for yous. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That'll do. You've got a faggot crew. I'm fucking him there. Yeah. Chin hair. <laughs> Dick hair. <laughs> it's 60 seconds. Give it up for that round. As long as you want to go. Yeah, pretty much. A little 60 souls. Wait till you go, time. Yeah. Die! Yeah. Shout out to Trilly Tuesdays. Oh. Third round on Barry Bonds. Oh. Oh. Bam! <laughs> All right. Now I'm looking at your shoes, and I'm seeing the future of mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that wasn't a flip, that was the stupidest line. <laughs> but since this is do flips or die trying, fuck it, I'm gonna have me a little fun. There is nothing on the earth as corrupt as your mother's cunt. <laughs> and see what? Do you know how I can tell you're a mellow faggot? Because even when you say shit, Lines, your boy behind you laughs with a fucking yellow jacket. Whoa! Hey, Mason, yeah. do you reckon this guy's a bit of a fucking bitch? Uh, no comment. Okay, well, this is already finished, Mason. Give me this motherfucking split. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck? It's two flips of die trying. I'ma do it till I die. You fuck this motherfucker, I'll do a fucking DUI in his mother's car. Blind as fuck. Fucking her up the cunt till her sign is snuffed at least 29 inches of my nicest stuff. <laughs> nah, and full respect to you, bro, but I'm as real as it gets. I wear my heart on my sleeve and my dad on my leg. R.I.P. And if you think I dogged you on some dog shit, fuck that. I'm a man and I stand by what I said. So just know that I never broke my word, so no matter how mad you get, I'll still have your respect. I'm pretty sure me and Plans can be friends. Mm. Just as long as he learns to handle his meth. Mm. <laughs>
of time. Give it up for that round, third and final on plans. So, so he can say that I'm on drugs heaps, he can say that I'm a junkie, but in the last two years, Mandel and my dad died and that kind of fucked me. Then my mum lost a breast that was cancerous and lumpy, so I made a commitment to crack and booze for comfort. See, that's where we're different. Because when you made a commitment, you had a kid, you ran and ducked him and left a little cunt in a different fucking country. Ooh. At least when I commit, I only put my own fucking life at risk. Well, you pull that mm. shit on a kid, child that is a priceless thing. <sighs> See, he's such a deadbeat daddy, gets mad when he goes on Skype and the bastard won't perform webcam sex. <laughs> well, hey son, take your clues off, hey. Then it definitely gets weird, but we should have seen it coming from that pedophile beard. Woo! Shit, I'll get your son and uppercut the lame till my knuckles stuff his brain and I'll fuck his mother's face and do the hucker on his grave. Whoa! The other day, I heard you scored mad clicks from some 4chan pics of your fat kid sucking off a team of fucking all blacks dicks and that's how your body bag a short fat bitch. <laughs> Give it up for that motherfucking battle! That was a dope motherfucking battle, a dope main event. I just want to give a quick shout out to the Sponos, OzHipHopShop.com, Southside Custom Inks, and of course LMG Studios. Hey guys, what did you guys think of that main event? What do you guys thought of the night so far? We've already finished with that. The results come in. Hold it down, guys. The winner of that battle was Plans. Give it up. One of our battles, best two cunts I've ever dealt with in the whole fucking hip hop scene. Yeah, yeah. Actual fucking real cunts. Thanks to everybody coming out. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Trill, cuts like a knife. You know what's up. What's up? It's Johnny Trash. We just watched Plans vs Barry Bonza, the main event. Uh, do flips or die trying. Um, it's not. It's not often that I get it wrong, and I judge this differently to the other two judges. I gave um, Bonza the first two. The first one was on a punchline count where uh, Plans was still spitting dope shit, but it was more um, his schemes he was setting up where Bonza was just punchline. So I gave him that first one. I thought Bonza had a little stumble in the second, but um, it was it was again I gave it to Bonza with the difference of setups from plans that were dope and got a lot of crowd reaction where uh, Bonza had punchlines and like uh, there was a dope flip in there. The third I um, oh and the second uh, plan, plans trailed off uh, trailed off a bit. The third I gave to plans on it was personal like kind of personal and, and but not typical personal. Um, the 4chan picks line, I remember that, that was just stood out for me, and uh, yeah, Bonza was just funny as fuck in the third anyway, uh, plans got him in that, but Bonza was just funny as hell, so yeah, I gave it to Bonza, but whatever, easy. What's up? One out what? Mason judging plans versus Baz. Now, I just want to say, don't take my joint, if you're battling and I'm judging, don't take joints off me during the battle, it, I'm going to mark you down points, no, I'm just kidding. Bonza flips, as always, on point, it's part of the reason the event was named what it was, we all knew Bonza was going to do dope flips. First round I had pretty much practically even, um, slightly edged it to Baza by like half a point, uh, second and third round I gave to Plans. Um, I'll just run through a couple of things I thought were really dope in the battle, Plans is white shirt, scribe nerd, um, losing from the Anzacs, that was absolutely off the chain, as well as these one ounce period pyramid scheme with Barry at the top, that was that was unbelievable. And and with plans, me personally, when I see a rapper and they get challenged and then they they come back in the third round or the second or third round and they say some deep shit about their own personal life, I really connect with that. So I was tingling the whole time he was doing that and I just thought that was really, really fucking dope. Overall, I think that probably edged it for him, even though, like I say, Barry, probably one of the best flippers going around in Australia, to be honest. So, cheers, boys. Great battle, but plans overall. Cheers. That's Davey C, my fault. I apologise. What up, Trill? How's it going, motherfucker? Yeah, I gave um, I gave the first and third rounds to Plans. I gave the second round to Barry Bonza. I think Barry Bonza and Plans are both fantastic MCs, very entertaining as well. I think while Barry was more personal, I think 
Plains has a pretty unique delivery. It's very overpowering. I think that I think Barry, the way that he approached that battle, was actually pretty similar to the me and Plans battle. Sneaky little uh, promo there. But if you actually check it out, um, I think Plans got a bit overpowered by the sort of performance aspects of Plans. The way that he uh, he's got a very uh, great crowd control. Shows a lot of experience. I just thought at the end of the day, it really came down to that third round. Um, plan sort of rebutted Bonds' personal shit in a really, in a uh, in a really sort of direct way. And I and look personally, I gave it to Plans. Just would have only been you know very minimally. Um, but yeah, fucking good battle. Look forward to when uh, I borrow body Barry Bonds on uh, <laughs> July 15th. Peace See out, one out. In the battle between Ed Gaff and Laundry Bar, <laughs> I'd have to say Laundry Bar more space. Uh, plays the crowd a little bit better. It can, it's intimate, man. You know, people like that squashed in, like pumped up crowd shit. And I really like the way that feels. But overall, you fit more people. The drinks are a little bit cheaper and a bit more variety. And and the security are generally on top of shit at Laundry Bar. So I give that three rounds all to Laundry Bar. Peace.